Right, more robots. We'll start with the first one I did. I got a little Lego set from Sainsbury's, um, and I decided I was going to build a robot out of the parts that were inside. And this is what I built. It's called Parasite. Two-wheel drive robot. Um, has these gripping claws at the front that aren't for compressing, because if they compress too much, it's going to break. Um, but it is, it's for grabbing. Grabbing and taking. Woo! Um, and it's also got this little self-writing mechanism on the top, so it can self-write. Uh, moving on, we've got Equalizer, which is a front-hinged flipper. Not much armour on this one. Um, quite basic. The flipper works like so. Ta-da! There it is. And it comes back down. It's got these front scoops. I'm quite happy with how they've come out. They also acts as a sort of spinner killer, perhaps. Next. Um... Armadillo, which is a bulky robot that I built some time ago, um, I decided that the team should have a new robot. So I've not destroyed Armadillo, that still exists. But I have built the next one in the line, and it is Armageddon, which is this one, which is a drum spinner, and it's the fum, fum? first drum spinner I've built, and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool drum. Um, it's quite small in comparison to something like Apollo, for example, which is lovely as usual. It is teensy. Um, really quite small. So I'm thinking of cluster botting this one with another robot. Don't know what that other robot will be, but I'm thinking of cluster botting it. Uh, next up, we have Cobra. Uh, I decided to sort of mix Cobra and Brutus together, and this is what came out. Um, it does have that bit at the front, which is interesting. It also has a self-writing mechanism at the back that comes up like that and goes down like that. Um, I'm sort of happy with this. It's, it's got a lifter at the front as well. So yeah, I'm not sure, not not sure whether um, I'm happy with that one or not. What I am sort of happy with is Ming. Ming Trinity, I think I'm going to call it. This is Ming Trinity. It's got the the crushing beak there. It's also got a lifting bit now. So it's a lifter and a crusher at the same time. Um, because multi-weaponry is fine, apparently. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. Um, didn't know what it was going to look like when I started it, but, you know, pretty cool at the end. Moving along, this one's in progress. It's not quite done yet. It's Foxic, Foxic 2 to be precise. Um, it's got the it's got this lovely lifting um, front end, and it's got the full arm on because he's worked out how to reattach it now. Uh, obviously, it's not orange and doesn't have the fox design yet. I'm going to paint it. To do that, I want to take the wheels off, so I'm going to remove that section to remove the wheels and the bits that go inside, and just spray it like that. Um, when I've done that, I don't know whether I'll glue that on. Some of this is glued. Um, so for example, a lot of this arm is glued. Uh, all of these front bits are glued. The three that are stuck together, they're glued. Um, glued to the side and to each other. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how Fox 6 is going. Obviously work in progress. This next one has been troubleshooted already. Um, but it is tough as nails. I, I like Tough as Nails as a robot. I've updated it completely, so now it's not running on wheels and moving like that at the same time, using the same components and that sort of thing. It's got separate systems, so wheels move, fine, and the claws, they shut. My dog keeps scratching. Uh, me as well when I put my hand in the way. Uh, so yeah, this this is pretty cool. It crushes like that. It's invertible, runs that way up also runs that way up as well. Um, had to keep this very flat. Lots of reworking went on, obviously these are a bit loose on the front. Um, this is the best possible outcome. Uh, I've tried so many different things and nothing else worked, so this is what I'm going for. And uh, deal with it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this looks. It's even got a little T there for tough as nails. Um, as far as happiness goes for robots, I think 
this one has come out the best out of any robot that I've built. It is a competitor robot, it's King B. Just King B, not Remix, not Reverb, not anything like that. It was going to be King B Reverb, um, but I just decided to ditch it. It's just going to be King B because there's not been a normal King B. So yeah, King B with all of its... Stop. Doggo. Um, King B with all its working parts. I've been as accurate as I possibly can be with King B. Internals. Oh yes, I've gone to full detail. I've even put a bit of plastic on the top. Uh, that's the only bit that isn't Lego, that, and a little bit of glue that's holding this white bit in. Um, the rest is, is just put together. I am going to be gluing the front prongs because they're very loose. Let's see? Um, and they come apart in, in several different areas and they're useless at lifting at the moment. So I'm going to add little spikes in here, I think, um, and it'll look awesome. But at the minute, very happy with King B. Again, I've had to build this invertible because King B is invertible. Undecided, I'm very happy with how that came out. This is, uh, it's beautiful. I'm, this is my favourite robot that I have built, this and Thor. Um, the only cardboard robot I've built for this month is a, a home team. Uh, I live in Norfolk, and the home Norfolk team that I'm supporting is Thermidor 2. Uh, I realise the wheels are in the wrong place, they should be further forwards. I can't change that now because it's all glued inside. These are Lego wheels. They are on, on Lego things and come off like that, but I can't physically move it forwards. Flipper works quite well. Kaboom. And down. Um, takes a bit of encouragement to go down, but it does, it flips the best. It flips King B, which is cool. Um, you can put some real force behind it because you're operating it. So those are the more robots. So why have I decided to upload a more robots video now? Well, I've got plenty of Lego. I'm going to build some more robots, obviously. Um, and I've got a surplus of Lego wheels, which I can sort of show you. That This is full of wheels. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all to come. But also this weekend, there's a little event over in Stevenage called Robots Live. Um, I am going to see Robots Live, hosted by Team Apollo. Um, and it is the UK Championships for 2017, so I'm very excited to go and see that. Um, I'm going to be making a video. Have no doubt about that. I will be taking the iPad, I'll be filming some of the fights, and doing my best to give you... A look behind the lens of robots live in Stevenage so look forward to that I am um, ecstatic so yeah exciting times ahead I, I had planned on re reviewing Taskmaster um, as you'll see in the intro to this video it'll have Taskmaster in it unfortunately I couldn't come up with a good way of doing it I tried reviewing it on the spot I tried watching it at the same time Nothing was working. No. Sorry. No Taskmaster. But rest assured, I love the show. It's amazing. And um, yeah, that's that. So thanks for watching. Uh, I shall get that video to you next. So look forward to Robots Live. Stevenage, Saturday, 3 p.m. showing. That is fight set number two um, of four. So. It won't be the whole weekend, just just the first group, second group, whatever. Anyway, bye.